The prosecution of Assange is working as a cover-up for all the war crimes that no one is talking about now. 100% all of, which is absolutely... Uh, like, for me, you have to appreciate, uh, if you follow history, I've been following history for a long time, I've been following politics for a long time and whatnot. And anybody that has been following politics, if you've never lived through a period like now, right and what we're living through right now is is unprecedented right there are certain situations in history where you look back and you ask yourself how is it possible that the citizens of nations could allow certain things to transpire right we're living through one of those periods right now right like for me growing up just being bombarded with history i always you know, try to figure out how World War I came to be, how it was allowed for the Armenian Genocide to take place or the Holocaust to take place and World War II and the atrocities in China and how Latin America death squads could take over and stuff like this, right? It, it's always, it was unbelievable to me that citizens, there were people that actually supported these regimes, right? These actions, and once we look at our situation right now, you realize that people really didn't re know what they were supporting. They were unconscious of it. They weren't really even, you couldn't even really consider them to be, uh, what word should we use? Awake, aware? Like conscious is the best word I could use. I can come up with right now that they're not really conscious of what is happening in the world. They have become people to a certain degree have become machines and reactionaries and just doing what is expected of them, but not expected of them based on their own morals or their families morals or for the protection of their family or anything on that level. They're reacting according to what centralized institutions, wherever they live, want them to react. People have become puppets. It's amazing. It really is absolutely mind boggling. And for me, you know, there's a saying that says, be careful what you wish for, or be careful what you, what you try to understand or whatever it is. I've always wondered how people in the past could live in such a way could react in such a way, could stand idly by while atrocities happen. We watch it right now and it's, it's enlightening.